All righty. Good evening, everyone. Thanks uh, all for coming out tonight. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I, I'm Jeff Smith. I'm your host for this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm the composer for all the pieces you're about to see. Uh, I'm also the, uh, the founder and lead of, uh, of the Ferris Ensemble, the group that pulled some of this work together across a series of recordings, and now our first live performance uh, with these wonderful musicians this evening. Um, I just want to uh, both thank uh, the folks who have allowed us this evening to come together, uh, chiefly Mike Lesser and the whole crew here at the Marjorie S. Dean Little Theater, and then of course all the folks at Juilliard that allowed uh, the three of us as musicians to come together and develop these pieces. Uh, a brief word about where we are. I, I, I want to begin by saying thank you to all of you folks, but also congratulations. Uh, the U.S. federal government announced the end of the COVID-19 public health emergency within the country this week, uh, which means we are now all on the other side. And so I know in the past several years, uh, people have been going through all sorts of different things uh, with relationships that get stronger, they get weaker. And this is a time to, to stand and reflect on these things, uh, all the good and the bad uh, through the power of music. And so with that, I would like to uh, begin our program this evening with a piece entitled As Evening Calls. Um, the piece comes from a poem by the Pulitzer winning uh, poet, uh, professor, and, and, and just an all around amazing human being, Conrad Aiken. Uh, it comes from a, a piece that uh, begins As evening falls and the yellow lights leap one by one along high walls and along black streets that glisten as if with rain, the muted city seems as one in a restless sleep who lies and wakes and dreams of vague desires, vague memories, and half-forgotten pain. So uh, with half-forgotten pain in mind, I invite you folks to uh, join us this evening uh, for the program we entitled Pandemic Romance. With that, I'd like to welcome on our, our performers, uh, Felix on piano and Dylan on violin. Take it away.
All right, and so one, one more proper introduction uh, to our performers here. And so uh, I want to introduce more properly Dylan Ham. For those of you who came early enough to read your program, Dylan is incredibly accomplished as a, as a young musician, beginning at a very early age, uh, both uh, beginning as a, um, as a singer and then uh, continued work as a violinist. Um, uh, you can read all of the different competitions he's, he's won and, and uh, some of the, the great performances he's had working with some of the, uh, the most accomplished musicians in the field today. I, I also want to uh, uh, really note that uh, speaking for the entire um, uh, Juilliard Composition Program, that Dylan is just the absolute favorite violinist any uh, composer at Juilliard can have to work with. He's been an instrumental part of bringing together pieces tonight. And so with that, I'd like to give him a, uh, a lively dance form uh, that dances across uh, uh, traditional forms of uh, dance music uh, from Chinese, uh, American South, uh, Korean, and Irish music. Uh, with time for dinner, take away, Dylan.
And so I will do one last uh, musician introduction and then get out of everyone's way here. I just wanted to take a, a special moment here to introduce Felix. Uh, Felix is a, uh, also a student at Juilliard uh, working on piano studies. Uh, he comes to us from Xi'an, China, and has, uh, has really um, accomplished quite a lot both in China and then here in the United States as a, as a performer and also as a composer. And I consider myself very lucky to get a chance to work with him and also can learn from his, uh, his particular strength and musical background as a, as a composer. And so with that, uh, I will introduce a piece which is a, a little bit of playing around with uh, something of Igor Stravinsky's uh, entitled uh, Clustery Stroll.
Uh, one last little introduction from me. And so I wanted to, to talk a little bit, since our theme tonight is pandemic romance, about this next piece. So this next piece is entitled Vax Fling. Uh, it's in six movements. Uh, one of the interesting parts of this piece is it, uh, it began just at the very beginning of, uh, of when we were getting vaccines. And so people were trying to explore what that would mean for, for regaining human contact. It was still a very difficult time. And so the early parts of this piece's development actually occurred with some of us in homes, on Zoom, down into Juilliard campus with people with masks on their faces, all very confused about where we would be uh, in a few months' time. And so it was a very uh, strange place, and then it evolved over the course of an entire year uh, before uh, being recorded uh, by uh, Hannah Yee and Jeremy Dimitri on uh, piano and violin, respectively. I think the other fun part about this, uh, the history of this piece is I think this is the only piece that's had uh, promotional materials actually get censored uh, with some art by Leslie getting uh, rejected by the Facebook ad filters for being pornographic. Uh, it's a very spicy piece is, my, is what I'm trying to introduce you to, but I promise you it will all be very clean for a family audience uh, this evening. And so with that, I will uh, leave it to you gentlemen to take away with the six moments of vaccine.
joining room for a champagne reception if you have the time. Thank you all for coming out tonight. We really appreciate it so much. Be well and have a good evening.